In this video, I'll show you how to use Handbrake. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel if you do find this guide useful. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well, as it really does help support the channel and it's absolutely free. And please do watch this guide right until the end to know the full steps for this Handbrake tutorial. And without any further ado, let's go and jump into this guide. Let's go and continue with this guide. So as you can see, I've just opened up Handbrake. So if you haven't already got Handbrake, all you need to do is go to the Handbrake website and simply go and click download and go and install Handbrake. And then you'll be taken to this page here. So the first thing you need to do is simply go and either find a folder full of videos you want to go and put through Handbrake or we can open up a single one or you can go and drag one. So we've got a lot of options. So in this guide, I'm going to go and click on open and it's going to go and take me to my desktop as you can see. And I'm simply going to go and select my video, which is just called example, which is just here. So I'm going to go and click here and now it's going to go and scan it. Now, just before I go and show you how to use Handbrake, I want to quickly go and show you what the current file size of this video is. So for example, MP4 currently we will go and open it up into properties. The file size is 139 megabytes. And at the end of the video, let's go and compare what the output is after we've gone and finished. So once you've gone and then imported your video, it's going to go and allow us to go and do everything to it. So you can go and click open source and that's going to go and allow you to select another source file. But of course, we've already selected one. You can also go and create queues. So if I've got a queue of videos already being ran through Handbrake, I can go and click add to queue. Start encode is of course going to start the encode, but we're not quite there yet. We've got queue, we've got preview and then those these aspects here. Then here we've got the title, so that is the video um, I've selected and then the angle, um, all of this stuff you don't really need to change. Then we've got the present, which is where things can get interesting. So you can go and click on here, click on present, and as you can see, we can then go and choose one. So this is fast, um, I'm gonna go to general, and as you can see, here is all of them here. Now, just to explain this a minute, basically very fast is gonna be the lower quality of 1080p 30fps, it's still that quality, but if you want it to be even, you know, it'll take a bit longer, but if you want higher quality, then you can go for this one. So it essentially depends how long you want to wait um, and the quality you want. So as you can see here, we've got format. So I personally like to have my videos in MP4, but you can have yours in MKV or WebM. Then here we've got the option for it to be web optimized. I personally don't bother with that. I do use a line AV start. This is because it helps audio and video sync and I don't want them to be sort of distorted. Then you want to come to dimensions. You can go and change the size and crop your video if you'd like. So you can go and change it to 1280 by 720 if you'd like. Then you've got filters. As you can see, you can go and add like sharpening filters and stuff like that. Now what you want to do is probably do like a test video. Be prepared to spend a bit of time seeing what the filters can do. Personally, I don't use them. Then you can come to video and here we can go and sort of change some awesome stuff. So you can go and change the video codec, simply go and click on here. And these are all of the different codec codecs available. And then for the frame rate, this is really useful. So if you want it to be at 30, keep it at 30. Quite a few people just do the same as the source. So if your source file 60 FPS, then the output's gonna be 60. But say if um, you have a 60 FPS video, you're running through Handbrake and you want it to be 30, select 30 and then it's gonna lower the frame rate to 30. And one setting I, I do usually change with the frame rate is to have constant frame rate. So do consider that. As otherwise the frame rate will vary throughout the video. For quality, I recommend it to be on constant quality. Quality. otherwise it may sort of vary throughout which will just be annoying and then for optimizing video we've got on the encoder present so with this dragger essentially you can go and trade off the quality for the render time to be faster that's why I just leave it in the middle which is the default but of course you can go and change that if you'd like and then we've got audio uh, I don't mess around with that and you've got subtitles and chapters so that's sort of the main things um, you can go and change and then once you're done I recommend going and changing the save as output so you can go and click browse I'm gonna go and change this to my desktop. Uh, so I'm gonna click desktop, I'm gonna click save, and then just go and change the name to finished, uh, just so I know which is one's which. And then at the end, we'll go and compare the video size. So I'm gonna click start encode. And as you can see, it's now gonna start. Now, while this is going, I could go and open up another source and then add that to queue. If you've got a ton of videos you want to put through Handbrake, that's really cool. So I've just finished putting the video through Handbrake so that it's exactly the same video. So let's go and see what the size is. So let's go and start with this one, which if I remember was about 139 megabytes. And then for the one we just put through Handbrake, that size is only 21. So that's quite a drastic change. That's around, what, seven times smaller or something like that. So that's quite a big change. So it is definitely worth uh, putting it through Handbrake as it is going to go and save the size without reducing the quality too much. And as I showed you, you can also go and change the quality within Handbrake as well. So if you did find this guide useful, please go down below and hit the subscribe button. Leave a like for more. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.